What's going on guys? It's me, the Hacks God from NYC, Razor here, and today we are back with week four of the MPL. Currently, we are two and one, and today, this week, we are going to be versing Zero, the coach of the Tampa Bay Rayquazas, who is 3-0 and is the only undefeated team in the league right now. So, that kind of puts a lot of pressure on us this week, and as you can see, his team matches up a lot better than it does with mine. He has a lot of offensive threats, especially that Victini right there, which re which really uh, takes a crap on most of my team. Same thing with like the land, the especially the Clefable. The Clefable completely walls me. So we're gonna see how this goes. Let's start the battle. All right. So he's obviously gonna lead off with the Landorus. I pretty much predicted that. I'm just gonna go with the Gastrodon, and he's just gonna U-turn out Scarf Lando. It's pretty standard set. And I'm just going to go for an Earth Power right here, predicting that Tentacruel to come in. Because it was pretty obvious that the Tentacruel was coming in. He wasn't really going to switch into anything else because I could have gone for a Scald. Now I'm going to switch out to this Mew. And he's going to go for Giga Drain. I pretty much thought that maybe he would head to Wall to Gastrodon. And this week I brought a pretty special Mew. This is actually an offensive Mew with Swords Dance, Zen Headbutt, Drain Punch, and Earthquake. And... I like that set. I thought it was, I thought it would work pretty well against this team. So that's what I decided to run. So right here, I am actually going to go straight for um uh, for a Zen headbutt. Actually, no, wait. I go for Swords Dance first. And now I did the calc here to see if he was unaware or Magic Guard by going for the Zen headbutt. I can tell by that damage that he is unaware because plus two would have done so much more. And I do get the flinch, so that's helpful. Now, predicting the Weavile here, I went for the Drain Punch, but he's just going to stay in. He's going to go for a Wish. And Clefable is so freaking bulky, but I love it so much, too. It's a really bad love-hate relationship. And I'm actually not max HP Mew, so that's actually going to do a lot of damage to me. And I don't really like Mew taking that damage, because Mew actually does pretty well against his team. So, right here, I'm going to switch out into my physically defensive floor, just with some special defense investment. And... I'm going to eat up that Moonblast pretty decently, but right here I'm just going to switch out into Raikou because he has not shown the, what's called, the Call Mine yet, and he's going to go into the Victini, but he's going to switch right back into the Clefable, trying to scare me out. And I'm going to go for Sub because I am Sub Call Mine, and I'm just going to go for Thunderbolt here, and I'm going to get the Para, which is really nice. His Moonblast is going to fade. There's no real reason for me going for Calm Minds. I mean, for me going for Calm Minds, because if he goes for Calm Minds, then he's still unaware. It's not going to do anything. He actually has Heal Bell. So, he's he was actually Wish Protect, Heal Bell, and Moonblast. So, he didn't. So he does not have Calm Mind. And right now, this is actually really good for me, because Raikou does have Pressure. So, I am basically pressure stalling all his moves with my Raikou. I guess you can say he's doing the same thing with me for my Thunderbolts, but that's not really the problem because he loses double the PP due to pressure. And this is actually working really well for me because he can't really switch into anything else on his team because Raikou's behind the sub and it will do so much damage to the rest of them. Here I'm just going to go for a Calm Mine because I thought maybe Unaware would <laughs> not affect my boosts, my defensive boost, but it actually does. It just ignores my defensive boost. So, that was actually pretty bad on my part. So, he's just going to continue to break my subs. Here, I'm just going to go for another Thunderbolt, hoping I can get another para. It doesn't happen for me. And my Raikou's going to go down to a pretty low amount of health. But, that is why I did bring the Forges this week. This nice support Forges, which is just going to wish back my Raikou right into full health. And... I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video, but I am going to put a warning on this. This battle does last about almost 120 turns, so sit back, relax, and enjoy, guys. Uh, so he's just going down to the Tentacruel here. Pretty much the Tentacruel was his main switch in for this. Uh, it was pretty obvious, so I'm just going to go right back into my Raikou and get that wish off on him. Uh, he's going to go for Giga Drain, get his health back. But my Raikou, woo, 
This thing pretty much takes the crap on his team, so it is nice to have this thing. Going back at full health, he's going to go for Skull. That's not going to do anything to my sub. And now he's pretty much forced to switch back into the Clefable here. Because if he does try to go into the Lando, I can just keep, um, uh, go for an HP Ice. So he is going back into the Clefable here. And he, I'm just going to get PP stalled again by Raikou's pressure. And this is just going to happen for a couple turns. So I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. Basically, the next, like, until about turn 37 it's just me pp stalling his clefable with my raikou so <laughs> so that's kind of how the match went and it was very aggravating uh for him and me it was very annoying <laughs> i don't even know how to commentate this this is <laughs> so this is how everything else goes for Turn till thir turn thirty-seven. <sighs> I mean, the MPL is serious business, guys. You got to do what you got to do to win. So this Clefable is basically getting all the utility drain out of him, and eventually, at once after he runs out of moon blasts and wishes, it's going to become useless. It's basically going to become death fodder. And that's really what I wanted to do. I basically all I need this Clefable to do right now is run out of Moonblast. Once it runs out of Moonblast, it's completely useless against my team, except for him having Wish Protect, Wish Protect, and Heal Bell, which doesn't really bother me too much. And even though I'm letting my Raikou just get all the way down with subs here, I can just go right back into Forges and get its health back. Now, right here, I thought he was out of Moonblast at this point, but. And I decided to go for another sub because I can just get my lefties back and he can't touch me at all. And he has to be forced to switch out. However, that does not work because I apparently miscounted and he still had a moon blast left. So that was really bad for me. But right here, I'm, I'm predicting the really obvious Thunderbolt. And I go for the HP Ice on the expected Lando because now he's out of moon blast PP. That was his last one. And now things can start going in my favor again. Turn 37, the first mod dies. Now, I'm just going to go right back into Forges because physically defensive Forges pretty much walls a lot of his team. Uh, <laughs> especially, even this Victini right here. I'm just going to protect this guy what he wants to do. Blue Flare. And Zero really loves his special Victini. He also has Psy Shot, but I am physically defensive invested. So that's not going to do a lot, me, a lot to me. So I'm just going to do what he did to me. I'm going to Wish Protect Stall out his Victini's PP. Just like I did to his Clefables BB, but he does have sub. Luckily, I actually have a special present for him on this Forges. I have HP Ground. And that HP Ground is actually enough to break his sub, which is really nice. It's really good. He's going to go for another blue, fl blue flare, hoping for the burn. Doesn't get it. I'm just going to go for another wish. And this is really where the battle goes into my favor right here. Once he, lo once he lost all his PP on the Clefable and once he lost the Lando, it really just shifts into my favor. He's going to go into the Tentacruel on the HP ground. I'm just going to switch right out into my Mew. <laughs> He's going to go for a Scald. And, um, uh, and I'm just going to... And what I'm going to do here is... I'm just going to go for Earthquake because Earthquake hits this thing really hard. It doesn't exactly kill though and this next scald is going to burn me however due to synchronize he is also going to get burned so that is wonderful uh but at this point mew really does become useless so i'm just gonna go for another earthquake right here just to see if i can kill off the tentacle he does switch into victini though and i wanted to earthquake again here to stop him from getting another sub but the cancel button didn't wouldn't work for me so He's just going to go for a blue flare as I switch into my floor just. And that only does 37%. I'm not even fully specially invested. I have 160 in defense and 96 in speed for for his Crawdaunt, which I thought he was going to bring. And I have 252 HP. So that's just a testament to how bulky floor just actually is. I love this thing. Uh... <laughs> So this is basically just another PP stall game with me going for wishes, him going for blue flares and side shocks, and it really just does work out for me because I have more wishes and protects than he has blue flares. I'm pretty sure at this point he only has like one or two blue flares left because blue flare only has about eight PP. 
and now he's pretty much forced to go for shy shy shocks with the which does even less to me because I am physically physically invested. And this just works out for me so well. Now I'm going to be able to break his sub with HP ground. And it's just going to work out in my favor. <laughs> and I don't know. He's not getting any crits also. I'm really happy about that. I My team has that lucky chant already on it. No crits. No crit zone. No crit zone. And he actually hasn't gotten any, he has wasted like six or seven blue flares. He hasn't gotten a single burn with one of them, so that is also really nice. <laughs> it's me, it's me, the hacks got from NYC. I'm just gonna go for Moonblast here. Try to um uh because I knew it would do a lot for the Weavile. And it actually does a decent amount to Victini, but that was a crit. There's the crit that he's been asking for that Zero's been asking for in the chat. Uh, I'm just gonna go for an HP ground right here. That does a lot to that freaking Lucario. Now he's switching out back into the Fable as I switch out into my Gastrodon. Because Gastrodon pretty much balls that Lucario pretty, really nicely. Now I'm just going to switch back right into my Raikou because this Fable has no attacking moves whatsoever. And I can just get off a free Thunderbolt. And he's going to go into the Weavile. Crit Thunderbolt doesn't die. And I was really upset at that. God damn it, Raikou. Uh, the Weavile bulk coming through. I'm just gonna go right back into my Florges. Now, because of, now, I calc, I'm gonna say this right now, I calced that he was adamant due, due to the damage. Um, uh, and you'll see a little later uh, why that's not good for me. But I'm just going to switch into Gastrodon because this is physically defensive Gastrodon. It's going to eat up all the hits from that Weavile. This thing does a lot to his offensive threats on the team except for that Victini because he does like his special Victini with Grass Knot, with Grass Knot or Energy Ball. Exactly for these types of mons. So he goes back into the Fable. I'm just going to go right back into the Raikou. Keep PP pressuring stall in that Fable. It is amazing. He's going to go right back into the Victini. I'm just going to Thunderbolt again. That does so much damage. <laughs> But he is going to get the wish off, so that's pretty annoying. Uh, and here, I can just go right back, right into Mew as Death Fodder so I can get a free switch out. And Mew doesn't even die. Mew, the beast, doesn't even die. And I'm just going to go for Earthquake here so he does not get a free substitute. And it is going to break the sub, and that is the last we are ever going to hear of Mew. So, Mew goes down. <laughs> If Zero actually would have won the speed tie, then he could have killed me, but he didn't. And I'm just going to go right into Greninja here, because right now, at this point, Greninja takes a crap on his team. But, as I said, this is where the calc is going to take effect, because I calc him as adamant, which means that Greninja would outspeed him. But, what I forgot is... I didn't even have, I had too much defense EVs on my floor just in the calc, and then it hit me right after I made this play, why would he run Adamant Weavile if I have a Timid Greninja when Jolly Weavile outspeeds Timid Greninja? So right here, my win con my win one of my win conditions, the thing that takes a crap on his team and probably could have gotten me a 5-0, goes down to a knockoff. And I was so upset at myself after this. Oh my, I was so upset. But I can just go right into Gastrodon. And I can go for pretty much a free Scald or an Earth Power. But I'm just going to go for a Recover here. If he does want to Ice Punch me again. And now knowing that he has either Grass Knot or Energy Ball. Energy Ball being the worst of the two. But he actually does have Grass Knot. And I'm going to switch to my Raikou. Just for Death Fodder. And he's going to get a quick Grass Knot and kill my Raikou. <laughs> So I'm just going to go right into my Banded Mian Shao, and I'm going to go for a nice knockoff here, a nice U-turn here actually, predicting Necro Fable. I go for knockoff at some point. It's been, a, it's been a while since this battle has been too long. This battle was like 110 minutes long, give me a break. Uh, so now it's just going to be a wish war between Forges and Clefable. Clefable obviously having the least wishes due to the Raikou's PP stall. I'm going to go for a Moonblast here and take out that Lucario. 
So Lucario is down. That's also really good for me because Lucario could have done a lot of damage to my team. He's going to go right back into the Clefable, into the Victini. What am I saying? Uh, he's going to go for Psy Shocks now because he only has about one blue flare left at this moment. And he's going to go for it right here trying to get the burn. He doesn't get it. I'm going to go for another Wish. And I'm going to be able to protect and get my health back up. And I really do apologize for the stall. Stall is probably my least favorite play style ever so i don't typically do it but i did really want to win against zero just because he was undefeated and i lost last week so i really wanted a win to put me back up in the conference so again it's just a wish protect war with forges and right now i'm just gonna go for i believe another actually no here i go for hp ground because i was at a good amount of hp to take a hit. I'm going to get a crit on the Clefable, but that doesn't really matter. I just go right into Mian Chao here because, again, he does not have any any Moonblast, but he does have Protects left, so he is going to Protect on my U-turn. And that's going to waste the Wish on himself, but I'm just going to U-turn out again and go into my Gastro. I believe my Gastro. No, my Floor just. I'm going to go into my Floor just because now he's going to Heal Bell. I forgot what he heal belled off. <laughs> uh, he went for heal bell to save his PP. Now he's going to go for a wish again. And I can just moon blast or HP ground to my heart's content. I'm going to go for a moon blast here because it hits both of them pretty decently. And I'm going to get the special attack drop on the Victini. So he's going to do even less damage to me. Now I'm just going to go for another moon blast. Get more damage on. Actually, I went. For, apparently, I went for HP ground. Uh, just getting a little more damage on this Fable. Again, this Clefable has become completely useless. He's going to go for another Wish. <coughs> and to keep this Clefable at more HP, he's going to go for another Protect here. And at this point, I pretty much lost track at how many Protects or Wishes he has. So I'm not going to say how much he has or how much I think he has. I'm just going to go for, go for another, another Moon Blast. Uh, I don't get Special Attack Drop this time. God damn it, Forges. Uh, but Forges still does take on this Victini so well and now he basically just has to go for Grass Knots against me like that is his best play because he's low on Psy Shocks he's low on Moon Blasts and I'm st I still have I believe at this point I still have about around seven or eight wishes left maybe about five and I still have a bunch of protects and I can just keep going for HP Ground and Moon Blast and it's all fine it's all fine this battle He's going to switch back into the Fable just so he can get another Wish off into the Victini. And I'm just going to go into my Mian Xiao again. Because I do pack the Poison Jab here. But I am just going to go for Knock Off. Because it's either going to, it's going to get rid of this Cool Fable's Leftovers as well. Or it's going to get rid of any item that he has on Victini. Or the... What's it called? The Weavile. And he's going to go for another Wish again. I'm going to stay in and go for another Knock Off. It's not going to kill the Weavile here, and it is going to get the Wish back. But now this Weavile is just going to do considerably less damage because it doesn't have its Life Orb anymore. So now I can just go right into my Gastrodon because Gastrodon can, heart, can wall this thing really hard. And I'm just free to go for Scalds or Earth Powers or Toxics or whatever I want, to be honest. So I'm going to go for Scald here, try to get the burn. I do not get the burn. And at this point, he's going to switch back into his Clefable to eat up the Scald. But I'm just going to go for Recover. And I'm going to go for Toxic here just to kind of delay him a bit. Just to delay him. So he has to waste turns going for Heal Bell. I'm going to go for Earth Power. I'm going to get the Special Defense drop too. So that's really nice. Scavenger on going in hard. And there's no reason not for me to not Earth Power again. So I am going to go for another Earth Power. And it is going to kill this Weavile. So that is really good for me. And... Now he's going to go back into the Victini. Predicting the Grass Knot, I'm just going to go right into Forges here. Because that's going to do absolutely nothing to me. And, uh, yeah, pretty much this is the end of the battle. Because at this point, Zero has pretty much quit in the chat. Due to the complete stall that my team has against him. And I'm just going to keep going for Wishes. So I can preserve that nice and 3-0 against him. And how he's going to go for another side shock. I'm going to go for another wish. And. 
pretty much. <laughs> and Zero left the match for about, I don't know, like 15, 20 minutes because he was mad. So this is back at, back at the match. I'm just going to keep, I still have about one or two wishes left. Finally, he gets the burn on the blue flare, his last one. And he's gonna go, he has to go for grass right here because he has no other moves. I'm going to go for a nice and HP ground and kill that Victini. Now, all I have to do is go into my Bandit Mian Chao with a Poison Jab, and that is pretty much the game. So, that was a really good game, Zero. I really I really enjoyed that game. It was 110 minutes, though, oh my lord. I took... Honestly, I was so afraid of losing to him because of the Scofable and the Victini and the Weavile and everything that I thought out my moves so much. I was, like, sitting there for... I was sitting here for, like, almost five minutes just thinking of, like, one move per turn. And it was ridiculous because I wanted to play really safe in this game. Because, just because of how hard his team walled me and how hard that my team lost against it. Because I played like three or four mock bat test battles against other people using his team. All the all of them were losses to me at least five or four O's because of Call Michael Fable. And I'm really happy that he actually didn't bring Call Michael Fable because I would have lost at that point. Because once Raikou went in, it would have been like it would have been GG. But that was a really good game. We are now, the Tangs are now 3-1. and one. Zero is now 3-1. and one, And we are sitting with a nice 7-point differential third place in our conference. Zero's channel will be in the description between, in the link below. Go check him out. He is a really cool dude. And if you enjoyed this battle, please make sure to beat up that like button. Leave a comment, in the leave a comment below. And subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. I'm out.